Hey everyone, welcome back to The Road to Superman. This is episode 27, and today we have a lot of set photos from our brand new Metropolis, and I love the look they are going for. So let's not waste any time and get right into the photos. And let's start off with the most important part of Metropolis, the Daily Planet. The leader building in Cleveland, Ohio, will be standing in as the Daily Planet building for the main entrance and lobby for the Superman movie and we can see this beautiful grand entrance to the daily planet with the revolving doors and the name just above but scattered around the outside of the building we have banners with the official logo for the daily planet and it looks like we're going to have the globe back on top of the building which i think is a really important element to bring back because i think it just gives a bit more personality to the daily planet building and on the logo for the city of metropolis if we really zoom in we can see a globe set on top of a building which confirms that the globe will really be returning to the daily planet. I think this is a brilliant decision because as I just said you need the daily planet to have some personality about it and not feel like just a generic building and a big part of that is the globe so I'm really glad they are bringing it back and by the other set photos it looks like the entire city will really have far more of a personality than we have ever really seen before. Around the building, small shops are being set up to really expand the look of Metropolis. We have a video showing a shop called Dairy Queen, which looks like it sells ice cream, and really take a look at the designs on these shops as we go through them. We have Jitter's Coffee, with once again the globe appearing on the city design. We have a deli and a bakery beside one another. We also have McCavaney's Bar, Lacey's Arcade, the Metropolis Museum of Natural History, the Public Library, and Metropolis Art and Culture Festival. Now, did you notice something with all the designs of these signs and shops? They all have a very vintage look to them. They're not modern designs like the shops you would see in a real city. They all have a 70s kind of look to them, and if you remember the last episode of The Road to Superman, we discussed the possibility of the movie being set in the 70s, but actually came to the conclusion that it looks like the movie will more than likely have a retro-futuristic look look to it. And I think these designs play into that theory as well. Gunn has confirmed that the movie will be set in the present day, but Metropolis appears to have a modern yet classic look to it, and I absolutely love this. I think these designs will make the city and movie itself feel unique and refreshing, and like I mentioned in the last episode, Metropolis going for a retro-futuristic look 100% makes the Superman suit feel far more appropriate. The city is merging classic with modern, and the suit is as well, and I am a big fan of these decisions. It also makes me wonder about the other costumes too, not only for the other heroes, but how Clark and Lois and the rest of the Daily Planet will look. I wonder if their costumes will be more vintage or modern, and I'm very interested to see what they go with. It feels like Gunn is getting the best of both worlds with this movie. It's more classic, but also doesn't ignore that this is in the present day, and obviously that is just me judging that on set photos and the way Gunn is describing the movie, but I think as that is all we know right now, that's a valid way to feel. Gunn also talked about casting David Corrinsweet and Rachel Brosnahan, saying one year ago today, David and Rachel screen tested for Clark and Lois. When they first read together, it was like magic. What a wonderful year it's been with two of the most extraordinary, vibrant, and meticulous actors I've ever had the opportunity to work with. I can't wait for you to see them on screen in just a little over a year. And wow, that is so great to hear. Gunn has had the honour of working with many talented actors over the years, so for him to describe David and Rachel like that is a huge compliment. Saying when they first read together for Clark and Lois was like magic is exactly what you want to hear. I think their chemistry is going to be fantastic, and I can't wait to get a glimpse of that in the trailer that should be arriving early next year. The more I see from this movie, the more excited I get, and I'm just so happy I can finally feel excited 
excited for a DC movie again. The last film I was excited to see was The Snyder Cut back in 2021. And before that, I don't actually remember the last time I was excited to see a new DC movie. So to feel hopeful for the future of DC is a really nice feeling. And sure, I may not like every project, but I can guarantee you I will give them a go. And for Superman, this sounds like the movie for me. He is my favorite hero of all time, and I grew up watching so many different versions of Superman. And before 2020, when I started my YouTube channel, I had never really been this invested into the DC universe. So for me, this is the first time I am truly counting down the days and following the production for a new Superman movie. So I'm absolutely loving this, and it's a brand new experience to me. But now back to the final update in today's video, which is that Chris Pratt has visited the Superman set. James Gunn confirmed this on Instagram with a set photo of James, Chris, and many other crew members watching the monitors of a scene probably being filmed. So that's cool, and Pratt has confirmed he will be in the DCU at some point in the future, but we don't know when. But I doubt it is for Superman. But that is all for today's episode of The Road to Superman. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you never miss an episode. I hope to see you here again soon, so until then, have a great day. Bye!